Hey everybody, it's your daily hour with me. Here we are on TV once a day every day, Tony Machine, Star Tap, and we're going to be here for an hour. And change. No, uh, hopefully it'll just be in the hour. I don't think it'll be too well, much. Well, we can need to record a uh, commercial. Uh, oh yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be, that's how long we'll be here for the things. Well, over for the years, we'll be here for about an hour. Get out of here, dog. This is trying to some food. Uh, it is... Wednesday. Carl's back. How you doing, Carl? Uh, I'm chilling. Yeah. How was your? Oh, idea? that's such a um flagrant foul there. So what, what happened? Try to kick you? No, it didn't, took off the phone. Oh. Um. How's last minute bar? Did you see anything on the streets there? Um, no, not not too much. Um, just um. Um, kind of, uh, um, kind of dreaming back, you know, or, or maybe not dreaming back, but, um, gaining, gaining back mental health. Uh-huh. Trying to see what this looks like, you know. And, uh, I think Charlie, you know, is, like, really upset that he can't have any Potato chips. He wants potato chips, yeah. No, Charlie, these are my chips. Um, so you're gonna and, get... uh, I'm not really willing to elaborate right now what the, um, what this all kind of entails. Uh -huh. Like, you know, what what kind of, you know, what, what am I, you know, what am I looking at in terms of mental health? Yeah. Other than, you know, I'm going to see, um, you know, another therapist tomorrow. I've got all these people that, you know, I'm supposed to meet up with, with and talk to, which is fine. You know, I can, I'll just continue to talk to as many people as I need to, you know. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Until, you know, I get to be, um, you know, get to be in the position where I'm, I'm uh, you know, you know, sound body, sound of sound body, mind, spirit, health, etc. Oh, good. Do they? Do you? Do those people? Do they know that you're on the program? Do they know about the program? Uh, th th no. Should I bring the therapists in as well so they can psychoanalyze? Oh, yeah, so ask the you therapist know? to I come mean, on. Oh hey, no! You're uh, on the couch, so maybe they could psychoanalyze you, or no? Ask the therapist. Them on the show. Well, I'll do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll see what they say. Well, I think you should. I mean, you got to tell them that you're on the show. You know. Well, the, no. Do they know about that? Um, I've I've told a couple of people, but um, I guess maybe their eyes just glaze over. You know, it's like, oh, um, okay, community access. You know. Yeah, but well, it's not a thing though. All right. I enjoy your company, Kenny. That's why I'm here. Uh, <laughs> not for TV, huh? If if they don't, that's fine. You know, I do. So. Great. Uh, you guys can call the show, the viewers, uh, and leave some messages. The phone number is up there. It's three three zero five three six three three zero two. You can call that number, and then you leave a message, and you get your voice on TV. Yeah, uh, we'll call you back on the next episode. Yeah, that's right. Some people have called us, so here we go. We'll check some of these messages. No, Charlie, you don't get it. You're going to drop it. We're from unknown college from the Phoenix area code, though. <laughs> He's fishing. Charlie's fishing. What is it? Here's the message. Come on, Charlie. Well, I don't know. I'm looking in the kitchen. I'm looking at my watch to make I'm cooking in the kitchen. Cooking in the kitchen. I'm looking at my watch. Hmm. To make sure. 
picture, then I take the potatoes out. Whoa! John, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, Lord. John's getting mad. <laughs> I think there's a partition between me and Charlie, I'm just saying. Whoa. whoa. That was, it got mad, real mad. John, look! Oh, God. I don't understand. <laughs> what, do you, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying to... I don't know. But, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't like, you know, hitting them with a pitchfork or whatever. I mean... Oh, God. Whoa, is that trying to look mad? Maybe he was just playing around. I think he was just playing around. Well, hopefully he was. But Dang, Charlie. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah. Um, All right. Cookies in the kitchen. Or yeah, I don't know what she said. Oh, well, uh, yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> put, put that in the dustbin. Next. That was a weird one, yeah. Here's a message from Dan Dobler. Hopefully this is not going to be weird at all. Hi, Kenny. This is Dan. Uh, you coming back. Uh, bye. Uh, 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 Yes. You're still a good friend. You're still a good friend. Oh, you too, Dan. Uh, I was kind of tired of you. I was kind of tired of you the other day. Oh, I don't remember what you're talking about. I was about. kind of tired. You called me back, bye. You were tired. Dan was tired. I'm still a good friend. Uh, maybe Dan has a perceived uh, swabble or something. Uh, here's another voicemail from Dan Dubler. That's what he has to say now. Charlie! I don't know what he did there. He wants the chips so much, he's getting stressed out. He's got chips on the okay, mic. This is Dan. You can call back. Bye. Here's, uh, that was another Dan. We have one more from Dan. This is one from, uh, another unknown caller. Oh, it's DJ Drunk Dan. Hey, it's DJ Drunk Dan. Uh, keep up the good work and sorry that I just have too much shit to do sometimes. But all right, one love, peace. DJ Drunk Dan is busy. Yeah, well, I, I guess we're, we're all kind of busy in our own way, you know, battling, you know, this or that or the other, you know, personal demons or whatnot, but um, uh, hopefully, you know, everyone comes through with it in the end. Yeah. Hi, Kenny. This is Dan Dublin. This is Dan. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Good. You, you haven't called me for a while. It's been like two days. Well, you're coming back. I'll call it. Uh, I, uh, uh, I hope you're coming back. We will. Uh, right now. Yeah, let's do it now. Uh, I, I, I'm doing fine. I hope you're doing fine. Good. Cool. I'll call you back. Bye. Okay, I hope it's not too late. I hope he's not sleeping yet, but we'll call him back right now. Okay. Hey Dan, how you do? Stuff like that. Hey Dan, how you do? Stuff like that. Yeah. Looks like not much is happening on the calendar for a while. Not until Administrative Professionals Day. It's in a couple weeks though. This Saturday we're gonna be at TCTV. I gotta log out of the system. I gotta change the system here. Have you seen anything on the news? Did they decide that, um, the Supreme Court decide that the gay marriage oh, thing yet? Uh, yeah, and I, I don't know anything about that. Um, I Me mean, neither. Um, yeah, but, I've been, I've been kind of, you know, maybe um, connected or disconnected. Um, <laughs> you know, don't look at your phone for you know, for answers. Yeah, yeah, don't look at your phone. You know, it just. You have to know, have your answers in your head already. You can't look them up that cheating. Here we go. Let's play the dice game. Yeah, we can get out a pen here. Right number on our hand between one and six. 
and we're going to roll the dice. We're going to see who can get the thing. We're going to try to visualize the dice game. What happens here, we're going to roll one dice, and then after that, we're going to roll two dice, and then three on the final one, so it's a total of six dice. Try to think about the dice rolling, what number they roll on, and what number it's going to be the most at when it rolls there, too. So we'll see it happen there. Carl's getting this pen to work. You ever getting the pen to work? You know when you're trying to get a pen to work? You just like draw a lot, hope it works. It almost always does work. Oh, I think I have. Yeah, let's use this pen. Let's try this pen out. Here. Late, oh, that one worked? I'll try this one. Oh, this one's not working now. Here, pass me, yeah, pass me over that other one. Sky pen is dead. Possibly. All right, here we go. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> He's like, no, it's not. Here we go. He has that He's still. It's not okay. I'm not getting my chips, man. I'm not getting my chips. Charlie it's not okay. Got chips. Oh, oh. Uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, we roll. Oh, one. Oh my gosh. I lost. Charlie, you had three. I lost it. Did you, what did you have? Two. I got a five. Whoops. Here's it. Is. I, well, I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah. It's called Dan Dubler. Nobody won the dice game, but you know that's what happens when we roll one dice in the beginning and then. Often it's nothing, and then we gotta wait for the next one to try to get it going. There we go, this is Dan Doubler. <laughs> yeah, it's working now. Okay. I got a five. Dan Double are sleeping, it's kind of late. Yeah, how rude of you, Kenny? To bolt me. Hi, you've reached the cell phone of Dan Dobler. Please leave a message at the beat. Thanks. Sometimes he says, call me back even if it's late. <laughs> it's not too late. Uh, what a hey, Dan, it's the program. You can call us back. We've been getting your messages. Uh, thanks for calling. You know, uh, you know, guys, we have about 45 minutes left on the program today, and if you don't make it, you know, you can leave them the message, and we'll talk to you again. In the wow, studio. that was 15 minutes already. Yeah. Dude. Wow, look at those 15 minutes have just flown by. What have we done for those 15 minutes? Um, I talked about basically nothing. Yeah. But we did the dice roll. It's true. Girl, you know it's true. Milli Vanilli? Yeah. Is that a copyrighted song since they were lip syncing? Uh, I think it's still copyrighted, but by oh. who? By who, though? Blame. Wah, wah, wah. Did you, were you around for that whole controversy? Oh, I was, I think I was in middle school. You remember that stuff? Yeah, it was, it was kind of weird, because, you know, in a certain sense, they were kind of like, uh, maybe somewhat... I don't know, girlish. Uh huh. You know, but the, 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 they were guys, but they were like, you know, ooh, ooh, ooh. you know, uh -huh. or, or something. It was, it was kind of awkward. It was weird. You didn't like it. Hey, program. Hey, Freddy. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. Um, hey, how about you? How, who's on the couch there today? We're here with Paul. Hey, Carl. What, 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 what's up, Scooter? Oh, oh, not much. Uh, just getting off, getting off work and um, starting the trek home. I uh, stopped off here. I'm at, I'm at Dan's uh, house, dropping him off. Uh, yeah, going pretty well. Having a good day. 
Great. You seen anything on yeah. the streets oh, today? Okay. Or what? Oh yeah, I saw something weird as we were driving away from uh, CCTV. There was a uh, there was a, a person in a wheelchair sitting just on sidewalk with some like plastic bags next to them. By the by the old bus stop doesn't there's no bus that goes there, especially not at ten o'clock at night. And um, they might have had some other issues aside from simply being in a wheelchair. They might have had you know, other, uh, I don't know, maybe mental health issues, and they're kind of just like a little shaky and talking to themselves, <clears throat> and uh, I didn't know what to do, I did, and so I, I kind of just kept driving, but it was pretty surreal, it was very dark, and there was only the person I saw around there, and they're in, uh, right in the headlights, I don't know, it was weird. Whoa, they were using the bus stop at the shelter? No, it was the one that's right outside of CCTV that's no longer there anymore. The, the bus stops, stops stopping there. They only stop at the one with the shelter. Um, oh. And so, I don't know. Did you, maybe they were trying to ride the bus, but they couldn't. I mean, is it is it obviously gone? Yeah, yeah. And there were signs and stuff. I don't think there's even really, the, there's not the pole to stop pole there anymore either. So it's not, it doesn't look like a bus stop. It's just a sidewalk. Okay. the hospital there. What are they doing hanging out on the sidewalk? Pardon me? What were they doing on the sidewalk? They weren't even... I don't know. Yeah, that's the question, I guess. It was a mystery. It was a little... Very surreal. It felt very Lynchian, maybe. Oh. But, um... Let's see. Other news. This is not something I saw on the streets, but, uh... I, I heard some local news from a local news source that I think I read it out of the volcano, but apparently the, um... Tumwater Jack in the Box sometime in the last week uh, was robbed by um, a, a person, a 23-year-old uh, homeless individual, um, who saw the employees step outside of, uh, of the um, Jack in the Box on a smoke break. He climbed in through the open drive through window and stole, I think it was like $300 from the cash register and then like walked out the front something. door. Yeah. I think it was 150 or something like that. Like oh, okay. Well, 100. It wasn't. It wasn't anything to um, um, squeak about, you know. But you know, I'm, I'm sure that you know, being the law, what the law is, it's gonna come on down. My understanding like, is that uh, however much money it was, it was all the money that was in the cash register. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So they came. They came back into uh, into the the building after their smoke break and then the cash register was empty. Oh, man. So, um, but they, they, in the news report, they, they said the individual's name and everything. Um, so I imagine that they might, that means they must have apprehended them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's info time. Three, two, oh. One. Yeah, Crap and time. frequently asked questions about the program. Yes. Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with Me. It's a call-in television talk show that's filmed right here in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It airs every night at 11.30 p.m. on TCTV Channel 22. Each episode airs a week in advance of the episode that it was taped. So if you're watching this on a Monday, <laughs> Oh God, that 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 screwed up horribly. I don't think they'll be watching it on a Monday. <laughs> uh, you can watch any episode of this on YouTube. Anyone can be on the program, especially you. Hey. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at this number and leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thank you for watching, and now back. And now to back the to the program. program. Yes. I think you need to get a less complicated script for my delicate tongue. If you're watching this on a Monday, oh, something is going weird. It up. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're watching it on YouTube, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, I probably should have said, you know, this episode. I mean, you could have, you probably should have said what was on the screen, but that's okay. Uh, Let it go. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. 
Thank you, Carl! So I would have thought, yeah, thank you. I would have thought that, you know, when I first heard that, that sounds like the Jack and the Box people stole the money themselves. No. Right, exactly. That's what right. I, that's, that's, uh, that sounds like the kind of thing you would make up as a story, you know. Oh, some homeless person, they came in and took the money, you know. It's like, you know, that's, that is exactly the kind of scapegoat story you'd expect, but, um, I don't know. Could still be. Maybe he gets the setup. But they have a guy. They have a guy, though. Well, I, I think yeah, that... Yeah, the article was not very clear about that. Carl, it sounds like you kind of know some information about the story. What is, yeah, your, what well, is your take well, on it? I, I, I believe that they uh, have um, cameras there at the drive through mm. window. That they would know. Oh, right, right. Yeah, they do. Uh, you know, somebody clamming, clamoring through a window. And it's like, oh... Oh, we're, we need to look for this guy instead of, you know. Or, I guess in that case, if they have cameras, um, you know, a lot of the uh, police know the names of the uh, local transient population and and can recognize them. So it's possible. Maybe they didn't even catch it. But it, to me, it, it was possibly implied, although they didn't say right away, or, did they, or at all, you know, it was the volcano. So I'm not sure who was writing the article, um, you know, if it was... It was not very clear on that point. I thought that was maybe a weak part of the article. I can't remember where I actually saw this myself, but it might have been on the, you know, um, I figured out Holy how block. to, I, I figured out how to make uh, YouTube even more addicting. How's and, that? And, um, and, uh, or not YouTube, but Facebook. And that, uh, um, through this, you know, you um, have like or whatever on that tab. Um, if you hover over that like button, you can say um, get notifications or whatnot. Oh, uh, too much. And so I get notifications when the Olympian posts something or, you know, when other people post Infomania. Something. Infomania. And, and so I yeah, want Yeah, popcorn to be, brain. Right, right, right. So I wanted to be somewhat tuned in to what, you know, um, you know, the Olympian is talking about because, you know, I live in Olympia. Yeah. Yeah, totally. It's important to know that local stuff. That's what we're trying to help out with, too, on the program. It's a little week late, but I think you can still keep ahead as much as anyone does, you know. Mm -hmm. No one's going to be able to do anything about it. It's good to just know what happened. So, oh. anyway, um, in my, one of my... Um, random curiosities about, you know, homeless person climbing through a window. I guess I clicked it in uh, Facebook and, and read a little bit about the story. Yeah. How about that, uh... More about homeless people and windows. Yeah. That's too bad, yeah. People are, are, are need the money. Maybe hopefully he... No. I mean, maybe he I wanted to get a home. Yeah, yeah, well... Um, it sounds like that he's caught between a really big rock and a really hard black place. So, uh, yeah. Honestly, to me, it sounds like a pretty creative way to, to crime, though. I think that um, he's got he's got a smart think. You know, he's, he's got a crime up, uh, opportunity as well as desperation. I'm sure. Oh, he saw them. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, that's pretty wild. How about the production then? How's that going? Production end is going well. Uh, we got uh, things scheduled out until next Monday, um, which is April 1st, so that's going well. We got that all scheduled. And then um, we got everything captured up into yesterday's episode, so um, I, I'll maybe uh, try to get that episode from today captured as, as soon as we can. And we're keeping it up. We've got some uh, YouTube going up. We got tonight's episode already on the channel, so it's ready to be watched. If you don't get cable out there, check on our YouTube or on our website, whiteyhtbm.com, and you can usually see the episode for today on the channel before it even airs on TV. So wow. check that out. Uh, yeah, that's going well. The one thing, um, this is a little bit of going back into the past, uh, but I, I think I gave some misinformation about the production end um, a couple days ago. You were talking to me about the scheduling issue of, um, remember on Saturday and Sunday, you uh, tuned in on Saturday Sunday, and it was the Saturday episode, and I said the last time you talked, we talked about this, that um, the Sunday episode had played 
on Saturday and the Saturday episode is played on Sunday, but that is not correct. Oh, what, what happened? Uh, what had actually happened is an error on my part. It was, uh, I was trying to, well, sometimes in the production process, I like get multiple sequences set up and then I, I like change the titles and add the names and, uh, and like put the dates on and stuff and make everything the way it is. I, and, uh, and then I, but sometimes this time, I guess, it hasn't happened before, but I forgot to actually move in Sunday's episode into the Sunday project. So what happened is, um, the, uh, all the titles and the dates and, um, I think maybe even the commercial were all correct, but the actual physical episode was the one from Saturday. Oh, so, that's pretty um, good. The reason I thought that it was a, a total switch is because the Saturday episode's title is not Easter, uh, which is confusing uh, because you know, Easter is on a Sunday, but the reason I titled it not Easter was because um, it was at midnight, you know, at the, at the halfway through the program mark, when we realized that uh, it was not going into Easter. I think we wished everyone a happy Easter, but then kind of that was a week later. So. That's, that's essentially the mystery at all, so that's what happened. So, um, it's, that bird episode did not get missed. It's a good one. It's the one with boats. Uh, so, you got to check out the boat. It's episode 911. And uh, so, sorry about that, viewers. I, I put an apology out there to all our viewing audience. I didn't mean to do a repeat, and it won't happen again. Maybe maybe people didn't mm. notice because of the, the titles, and they... They didn't remember, you know, day to day. Yeah, it's true, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's something that happens, you know. When, when we happen, we do a show every single day. And when when things happen like that, it 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 did, you know. We got to move into the future now. Yeah. Yeah. We um, got we got uh, infinite infinite days ahead of us, which also means that there's an infinite amount of problems that can happen. So eventually, right, you know, as we go through the whole show, we're going to get to see all the different types of problems that can possibly happen with the episode. And this was certainly a new one, and I actually am going to be extra vigilant now, so I honestly do think it's not going to happen again. But it's one of those things when you just, long term, eventually there's going to be a little issue, maybe. Yeah, I think you can keep about the same vigilance if there's only been a problem once out of, you know, so many days. I think that your level of vigilance was just fine. Uh, Freddy... Um, I actually have to say that you're a pretty hard-working individual. Uh, so oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Carl. So, um, I'm trying to get more more organized so I can more easily handle the load I'm trying to I'm trying to take care of, and that's, that's the next step is further organization. But thank you. I appreciate those kind words. Yeah, uh, well, um, um, I, I guess I could say that don't, don't try to squeeze out more toothpaste than what the tube can hold for you. But um, yeah. also, um, um, my, you know, the Buddhist nun that I just got back from, um, you know, one of her classes tonight, um, she didn't say this today, but sometimes she does say this, and that, um, um, Balls might drop because you know you're juggling and you know you're just basically throwing around all these different balls. You know, like you're juggling balls, yeah. like you're juggling between um, having milk in the refrigerator and keeping your mind sane and you know doing. Oh, I know. Else. Yeah, exactly. Uh, sometimes balls will drop, um, but you know if you're if you're if you're doing pretty good. Your success rate is 99%. You know, it's, it's all right. You're, throw something you're at this bug. You see next to the lamp? Yeah. Throw something at it. Oh, come on. We're, we're watching it. I want to get it to move. Oh, Lord. We want to get this bug to move. We're watching a bug. Ugh. Oh, it's still there. Oh, and, oh, it dropped. <laughs> it dropped. Did you see that, viewers? Got it. Whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> I don't know where I went to. It just fell. It fell down. No, I didn't even fly away. I thought it was gonna fly away, but it. it, it, it oh, it fell. was dead. <laughs> it would have been dead. Yeah. Oh, creepy. Yeah. Oh. Hey, uh, I've got I've got a little unrelated news, uh, or you know, maybe it's 
further thing uh, we've kind of been talking about. I'm curious how Mr. Ginsburg is going to see. Hello. Hey. Okay. To the program. Yes. Continue. Welcome to the new day. <laughs> Restart that thought, Freddy. It's garbage day uh, for me. Yeah. Mr. Ginsu doesn't have TV. Is that true now? Is he still not have oh, TV? Oh, yeah. He lost TV. He needs, uh, it happened. Did, did you notice that happening to you, too? I mean, you, I know I that you... I did. Yeah, I've been watching it without the box, too, um, Mr. Ginsu. But my, oh, I guess he can't hear me anymore. But, uh, I, uh, I've been watching with the, without the box because my box is faulty or something, and it blocks kind of like glitches out on the CCTV channels, uh, 22, 77, 26, and 3 are all totally glitched to the point where I can't really watch it. And I've been on the phone with them three times already to try to get it fixed. And every time they like have me unplug the box and replug it back in or something. But uh, anyway, it was always working without the box. Um, without the box, it was working. But now it, all it says is your equipment is not set up for the digital something or other. So... There is no such thing as free cable anymore. There is no such thing as analog cable anymore, at least from uh, Washington Comcast. So yeah, I think it happened. it's up, honestly. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Ginsu has no TV. We got to do something about it. I know. Oh. We got to get a TV. Also, I think <laughs> uh, maybe uh, John Webster also ha is in the same boat, possibly. And I think also uh, Guitar Marcus. I think so most of our oh, viewers. Oh, no. Yeah. Most of the predominant viewers that are watching like, that we know about, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who are watching that we don't even know about, but uh, they're, out, they're out of TV. Oh, man, it's sad. I, 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 I'm, I'm not, I don't trust digital stuff. You know, the glitching problem I'm having does not happen on analog. It simply doesn't work that way when it's an analog signal. It can't glitch the way the mind is doing. So I miss analog. I think analog was the way to go, and I think they're making a mistake. Yeah, like maybe we should off. we should continue to call Comcast. We could start doing a um. Oh. Uh, instead of call McDonald's. Call yeah, call Comcast. That's actually all my list of things to do tonight. <laughs> As I'm waiting, I'm gonna turn the program on, and if it's not working, I'm gonna call them, and I'm gonna try to talk it out again. So I don't know. It's yeah, just me keep off, calling so. them every day. Very, every day. very quickly, Kent or. Uh, oh yeah, the dice game. What, what? Um. No, that was a one. That was a one. Oh, that was a one. Yeah. Oh, do you want Do you want to roll them or? Um, you're holding uh, the camera. Number. Pick a six. All right, you got six? Where, where's the other, or the other and dice? And pick a three. Oh, you have them. Oh, you have three? You're going to hold the camera and, oh, <laughs> and the dice? What's your number, Freddy? <laughs> Freddy's juggling a bit. He got a six. Six. Okay. Here we go. It's three and six. Oh, Charlie. Three and six. Oh, we win. Yeah, three, awesome. That's six, great. and one. Charlie, Freddy, good. And I had a two, and Kitty points. had a five. Five sweet hundred points. Yeah. Arr, shiver me timbers. Arr. Yeah, I guess we're gonna keep calling Comcast or try to get Mr. Ginsu a box. Yeah, I can. We can get Mr. Ginsu a box. Do you think that's all it'll take? Oh yeah, we can get him a box. Yeah. Well, I think I even have a spare, so, um, you know, don't tell Comcast, but maybe we can give that a try, do a little test, see, see if it works. Oh, no, don't tell I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to somehow mail it to him or something, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we're, if oh, yeah. we're, if we're able Mr. to do Gintu, that. Do you got to let us know. I, I think if I can mail him, I can mail him a box if uh, he lets us know, so... If he's willing to give us his, he, then if we he's willing to give us the address, we'll send him a box. So. Or something. Oh wait, he can't hear us though. He can't hear us. You better give him a call and, see, and let him know about that. See if that works. I think I even have a box that uh, my neighbor, who I've been sharing cable with, he's moving for, uh, or something like that. So I don't want. I don't want to give Mr. Vince's address though. I'm. I, I'm I'm, uh, that, that disturbs me in some way. No, no you just call, hmm. call him up if right he can, now. He can tell us a drop, box, a drop spot, we can give it to him, Matt. Yeah, we'll put, him in a, we'll put it at a park or something. Yeah. Oh, here we go with the Reservoir Dog references again. What happened with Reservoir Dogs? I don't know. Drop spot? But if you leave it, yeah, if you leave it in the park, somebody else is going to try to steal it if they're hearing, if they know about it. 
Oh yeah, I've got to set it up secret. Anyway, we'll work on it. Yeah, we're gonna try to get Mr. Gussie Cable. We'll keep calling Comcast too. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Uh, you still have Dan's there, Freddy? Anything else you want to say? All. I, I, uh, I made sure to try to have some stuff to talk about today, but I think I just used it all up. So Great. Um, that's all I can think of. Thanks, Freddy. We'll talk to you uh, in the future. Thank you for producing. Goodbye. All right. Keep moving through time, guys. Bye. <laughs> Charles making a weird face. What are you doing? <laughs> all right. Well, that's all the messages that we got today and all the, the voicemails. It don't matter. I prefer Kenny anyway. <sighs> Let's see. What's on, the, what's on the schedule? Tomorrow, uh, we have Elijah scheduled. But I think it's kind of late to call him. It's uh, about 10.30. And he is, uh, he actually, he just turned 13. Oh, no, he's turning 13 tomorrow, actually. Whoa, so, wow. he might be staying up late. I don't know, uh, maybe, maybe he's going to get a curfew uh, change when he turns 13 or something. But 10 o'clock might be, I don't know, does he, if he has a bedtime or kids have bedtimes these days when they're 12 and 13 and stuff. I don't think I ever had a bedtime when I was 13, but maybe this guy does. I don't know if we should call him this late. So I think we'll call him. To, we'll, we'll he'll be here tomorrow, and we'll call him and give him the ad, send him the address there tomorrow. Looks like Friday, John and Mandy are gonna be here, and then on Saturday, Lewis is coming back. So that's some stuff that we have planned for the next upcoming couple of days here. Chamon, a word to use to play to to playfully start a fight. All right. <laughs> Carl's showing his phone. Oh. Look, it's the internet. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> oh, man. Shimon. Shimon, man. Is that, <laughs> is that working now? Did you, turn it off? Enough, yo. Did you turn it off now? Is it working now? Is the thing broke? Did you break? No, Nothing broke? I didn't. It, it fell. Oh! Oh! It's all it's probably off there it goes. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, let me see. Oh, here it is. Oh, man. Alright, now it's working. Now it's a, Oh, Stick. it's not oh. sticking now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's cool. Everything's uh, oh man, that was pretty freaky though. Looks like we're about Back to get away from the coffee table, Carl. Looks like we're about to get into another commercial break here. Uh, after the commercial break, I think we're gonna call some McDonald's, uh, maybe in Hawaii or Alaska, because it's kind of late tonight. So we'll see how those McDonald's are doing. Have Did you ever tried calling the Japan McDonald's? No, we've called Canada though. We can't call Japan or any anywhere outside the country. They have those country codes. I don't really know how those work, and it costs money. But we can call into Canada. And the U.S., sir, I don't think there's any country codes to Canada. It counts hey, as being long on, distance. Man. It costs money. Six, you use one minutes. Four, to call it around the world? Two, one. I'm oh, just floating, man. Yeah, Come on, man. For a commercial break. <laughs> dance, holy dance. Uh. Dance, holy dance. Live TV dance party. First Friday, Friday of each month, 8 a.m. to 9, 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A, 440 yard away. Oh, yeah. Coming up tomorrow. <laughs> What is he bitching? Coming up tomorrow on the program. Uh, episode number? Your daily hour with Charlie. I mean, yeah. I got balloons. 
Jones. It's Eliza's birthday. Wait, no, that's the wrong song. I'm going to be turning 13, and your guys going to see me do an exclusive beatbox. Might be coming out uh, at a SoundCloud website near you. So stay tuned and watch our show and watch the adorable Charlie and him with my hat and my headphones. Born every night, 11:30 and 2 a.m. Goodbye now. Oh wait, no. Your daily hour with. All right. Yeah. That's right. We're back here. Where did we go, Kenny? We went to a commercial break here, and now we're back. That was the future. Did they, we disappear from the couch? Huh? Yeah, did we see Elijah and his mom and me there on the couch from yesterday? For tomorrow, that is? I think we probably did. All right, and it, there was another uh, last time I, that I heard about a uh, fast, fast food place getting robbed. It was the Wendy's and Lacey. It might have run around the same time of the year last year. Maybe at the end of the, I think it might be like fast food robbing season, which is a bad thing, I think, but uh, the, this one guy went and robbed a Wendy's in the daytime, and this other guy called her robbed the things, but they have all those cameras out there, you're gonna get caught, kid, you know, if you're watching the thing out there, uh, trying to call McDonald's, and, uh, I mean, trying to, trying to rob a jack-in-the-box. Yeah, th it's not cool to be, uh, pranking, um, um, people that have cameras, because, uh, you know, the Target parking lot, they have cameras, you know, just about every single place now is under the watchful eye of someone or something. Yeah. It's like, you, you know, you're, you're not going to graffiti our, um, our um, you know, light posts at all. They're watching you. I mean, I don't, I don't know what, 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 what the point is about having cameras in, in parking lots other than to watch people's cars, but... I mean, really, uh, you, you would need to have um, a moving backup data, you know, uh, record over something that was 30 years old or 30 days old consecutively. Each time that, you know, there's a new day, you need to record over someone, you know, the tape uh, that's 30 days old. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. But well, they keep the tips, and then if something happens, they, they can look at it, otherwise... Yeah, but over. I mean, at, at to what point do you... Uh, hi, bird. You're... Bird. Hey, bird. <laughs> How you doing? I, I just wonder, uh, 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 up to what point do you, do you, like, keep up the, you know, the archival footage? Or do you just, like, you know, oh, this video doesn't mean anything, you know, nobody, you know, tried to jack a car or whatnot, let's just... I think they only keep it for a couple of days and then they keep over it. Security cameras. Wow, Bird brought a strawberry shortcake. That's oh, awesome. That I thought, is so impressive. I thought maybe Bird was going to eat two plates. Thank you. Sure. Thank wow, you. is it about from your mom? Nate's, Nate's, Nate's mom? Nate's Lady friend, how's your, how'd your parents go? We were, both parents were here on the program yesterday. Carl, I don't know you missed them. We had dinner, and they, did, they, did they leave? They're, they're still here. Are they here? They're somewhere in town. All right. Well, maybe I can check out your parents on the program. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna... Virtually. Well, oh, when are they going back to? This is good. Some good strawberry uh, shortcake, yeah. Nate's lady friend. Matt McDonald's did not answer the phone. I don't know what they're doing. We'll call the next one here. This one's on Nimitz Nimitz Way in Honolulu. Uh. Is that Honolulu, Florida, or Honolulu, um, Maine? Hawaii. No, Hawaii. Oh, wow. Is there a Honolulu, Florida, or Maine? Yeah. Ew. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take those with me. Uh, I had them frozen, but I, I had this one else, so I'm gonna take them with me and eat them. The rest of them, unfrozen. Uh, the program is going well. We're here with, uh, and 
Um, yeah, I started eating. I'm, I stopped talking. I'm in my... Char Charlie got in uh, fighting attack mode with me. Yeah, I think this is made. They, they make the whipped cream too. They whip their own cream. It is very good. Yeah, whipped cream it, is not... it tastes like the genuine cool whip. It's hand whipped. It's not very sweet, which is good. It's not like a. Oh, it's not even cool. It's no, it's a real. Hi, McDonald's. Do you guys have the strawberry pies right now? No, we don't. Uh, we will bring, get them in in the springtime. I think they hung up. I gotta keep. Yeah, we gotta keep talking around when we're eating to talk too. Uh, it's almost kind of amazing that 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 is your comedy stick. Like, oh, they hung up on me again. That's a stick. Yeah, comedy like a stick, you know. It's not for jokes. I'm not trying to joke. I'm just talking about pies. Uh, yeah, Carl thinks it's a joke. Everything's just a joke Everything's to you, just Carl. A joke. No. That's just a joke. No. That's just a joke. Yeah, I, I try to not do too many jokes in the program. Really, I'm Carl is very jokes joking. Maybe I'm the straight man now, but I'm. Uh, if you're a straight man, I'm a crooked man. <laughs> yeah, see. So I'm gonna keep calling these McDonald's um and asking about strawberry pies, and then Carl, you know, I can laugh, <laughs> laugh at it. Ah, strawberry pies. Oh, uh, what? Huh? Me? No. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on, man. This, uh, this stuff is good, dude. so that's Nate. Nate is your cousin. You hang out with Nate and, uh, hello? No. I think Bird Papa hung out with his cousin and had a family time. Hey, that sounds good. Did you know, yeah, Bird's dad's name is Bob, so Bob, he's Robert. Are you Robert Jr., though? You're not Robert Jr., just, they just called you Ro just different middle name, so they didn't get to be the junior? You have to have the same middle name to be a junior? Well, it looks good on, 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 on paper, I guess. Robert Jr. He could be Robert, like Robert Danny Jr. Robert Bird, Bird Jr. Bird's parents had the same, uh, also the same political philosophies as he did. When he was talking about it, we can see, see where he gets it now if you watch that episode. Yeah, well, my dad and I, kind of have the same thing as well, you know. Somebody robbed the Jack in the Box bird, you hear about that? And in Tumwater, someone in Tumwater. They uh, climbed through the, uh, the drive through window and walked off with like $150 or $103 or something. Hi, Madonna, can I help you? Hi, McDonald's, do you guys have those strawberry pies right now? No, we don't. Do you know if you're going to be getting any in the springtime? No, we're getting blueberries. Oh, uh, when does that one come in? Uh, the middle of April. Oh, great, thank you. Okay. Yeah, McDonald's in Hawaii gets the special pies. They get the blueberry pies. They never blueberry. spring blueberries, that's right, but we don't ever get them here. We don't get blueberry pies. We get the strawberry pies. I like, would like the blueberry pies. That's what I always think every year when I would call them. This happens every year for the past couple of years. Every time that we've been calling the McDonald's in the season in Hawaii when it's late, they get the blueberry pie. And I always say, I would like that blueberry pie. I think McDonald's blueberry pie sounds great, but they don't make them out here. I don't know if we can get them to send it over. I feel like it would be a very popular item, but maybe it would be even more popular in Hawaii where they can't get them as much over here. But uh, who would not want to get a blueberry pie? You, know, you can't really get blueberry stuff. At, uh, at fast food places, it's not a regular flavor, you know. To be honest, I don't have that much sympathy with uh, fast food joints. Uh huh. You, you know, like uh, I, I didn't really feel any kind of like sympathy when I was well, reading the story. Camera. Um, when I was reading the story about you know the uh, 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 the. the uh, homeless person crawling through a, you know, drive through window. Uh -huh. When the, you know, the staff was on smoke break or something like that. And we casually walked out of, of the restaurant. Um, they got, know, yeah, the but they got caught, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, where's that money gonna go? They probably, I mean, they're insured and everything, but they're probably gonna buy a gun with it. I think the worst part is that they're, yeah, that's too bad. You know, the, guy, the guy's gonna get in trouble for just not very much money, and uh, you know that the, the uh, Jack and Box gonna be suing them and stuff, and they have the insurance paid and stuff back and stuff. But that's that's still bad. Four months of four. Here we're gonna play the dice game again. It's the final one. You have enough. This is all you're giving me with. You need more dice. We gotta find them. I don't know where they are. Oh, here's one. Another one over there. Uh. Okay. Well. Elijah and his mother. Yeah, he's been. We've been calling Elijah Elijah the preteen, but tomorrow is his. Tomorrow is his birthday, and it's, he's going to be 13, so he's going to be a real teenager, not a preteen anymore. So, yeah, we'll we'll see him on his birthday tomorrow, I think. It's kind of late to call him though. Okay, well there were two ones on the program. Oh, uh, what is it? That this green three was one. Oh, uh, so three three six one one five. That's sure, I guess. Charlie, you won. Charlie won the dice game today. Yeah, yeah for Charlie. And uh, viewers, if you had a won, then you would have tied with Charlie. But yep. here in the studio, yep. Charlie won. Yep. Charlie is mad because I'm eating chips next to him, and he's he's just got chips in the mind. That's all he's thinking of. He's looking at me. He's probably looking at you, and you know, like in a cartoon, when it, when they when they think of uh, people like looking at being food, you know. So but maybe then, then they turn me, you know, your face into a, like a, a potato chip or something like that. Yeah, Charlie's looking at you and you're turning into a potato chip. <laughs> He's getting ready to eat ya. Ugh, that's not good. No. Charlie, don't eat bird. He is not a potato chip. I guess we can keep calling, yeah, we'll keep calling these McDonald's. And he's kind of doing that kind of staring thing at you. It's just kind of weird. Are you got? Are you still doing the uh, the the outside the what's it called the the visuals the visuals call? Have you been doing those visuals? Visual what? Vi vig vigil. Oh oh yes, we're still doing the visuals. Uh huh. When was the last one you did? Uh, last Friday or two Fridays ago. I I don't know. Bird, help me out. Last Friday. I was there last Friday. He says he was. Did you get any? Uh, oh yeah, I was there last Friday because I remember. You want some chips, bird? Into meditation afterwards. Did you get? Oh, uh, thank you. Um, I'll bring you can, them you up. can take them, or you can bring it up. Are hey. you are you accusing me of being lazy? Does thank you I so could, much, bird. That was very good. You, uh, compliments to the chef. I I always um, kind of feel like I need to walk more. So, uh, greasy, fatty, sugary wrappers. I don't know. It looks like it's okay for now. Here's something. You can take this thing. This is a a wrapper. Oh, thank you. Birds clean, helping us clean up down here. Um, I always m want to walk more, and so I I could have really taken that to the kitchen myself. Oh yeah, we're just walking up and down the stairs. <sighs> okay, he what? takes my plate away. What was I saying? I was saying something right before. The vigil. The vi oh yeah, the vigil. So that was on Friday. Did anybody, uh, did it, Did you get any responses? Did anybody yell at you? Or has that been going on at all? Oh, every once in a while somebody flips me off. <laughs> you know, yeah. Flips a finger and I just have to, I, I have to laugh at them now and, and just like nod because you know, I, I don't know if I'm just like, you know, mentally, I, I you know, uh, I'm, I'm, um, I, apparently I got just like a huge um, diamond, you know, I'm just made out of, uh, out of a bucket of gold. Uh -huh. Just solid foundation of rock and, and gold and, you know, just like shining armor and, and all this, you know, beautiful, like, I, I, you know, this guy flipping me off, he, he, he doesn't offend me anymore, you know, I guess, you know, he never really did, but the more, you know, people are like, yeah, fuck you, you know. Yeah. 
you know, he wouldn't say buck. You think I, you think that he's flipping you off for fun, or that he disagrees with your policies? Oh, I think he de disagrees with the, the policies. Like, uh -huh. He thinks that war is good, maybe, possibly, or something. Or he's well, well, he doesn't think war is into, good. Well, or he's an investor in blue chip stocks. But I mean, really, you know, th there's there's a whole lot more to life than just Fox News or you know how how your income statement looks like at the end of the week with your um, you know Nasdaq or FedEx. So you but you do think that because I I actually think that maybe they're they're just flipping you off. Some people just want to flip anybody on the street off. You know, they're like, hey, look, there's a guy on the street with a sign, you know. Maybe he wants to flip you off. I don't think anybody wants to be the, do the war thing. I think they're just, like, having fun flipping people off. Oh, so, uh, um, I'm, I'm dreaming of a cheeseburger. You would flip that person off. Yeah, I mean, they maybe just trying to communicate with what? somebody. You know, you see somebody on the street, and you're... Are you that, that is totally... I, I don't see that. I think happening. he gave you a thumbs up, I guess, but you're communicating to him. A thing, you know, and he's just like, "Well, I'm gonna communicate back to you," you know. I don't think he. Nobody likes war. They're just saying that they're, you know, that's like you're you're doing so the sign. The, it does it disagrees with the sign thing, is it? Well, fuck you, Kenny. Oh no! <laughs> gonna flip me off if I own the sign. I'm gonna. I'm gonna no, I am not gonna do that because then for, for Freddy would need to get out the sensor patch of me? Final Cut Pro. Yeah. Or or whatever, and just kind of digitize my hand. And that's kind of. What did your know. yeah? What did your sign say this last week? Um, I well, uh, uh <laughs> did you forget? Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> but, I mean, so when you when you get your sign, do you read do you read the sign or do you does somebody? Well, mostly, does I don't even care. Are you trying to are you trying to cover uh, up some pain when you laugh the hardest? What bird says? Are you trying to cover up some pain? Bird's always trying to bring. Uh, Bring some serious song like uh, or saw or human suffering on the program. Bird's got human suffering on the mind. Those who laugh the hardest have the most to hide. I I'm always hiding. All right. I'm always on the run. What are you hiding? That's what Bird says. I, well, I don't what are you hiding, Carl? Are you okay? You want to talk about it? Um. Uh. What was it that Leonardo DiCaprio movie? Catch me if you can. What What about it? Catch me if you can. What about that it? That Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Uh huh. That, you know, he's just running from location to location. He's running from Tom Hanks. Yes. What or, about? Well, I, I'm, what I'm saying is, I'm always on the run. So. Uh, emotionally. That's what. No, just physically. Okay, yeah. Come what, on, man. Come on. Yeah. Do you? But do, do you read your? Do you get to read your signs, or does somebody hand it to you? Like when you get there, or do you like kind of? Oh, I'm illiterate. One minute. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> Am I hiding something now? Tell me! Uh, Carl, <laughs> Carl's not a little <laughs> I'm sorry, Freddy, uh, and Teddy, and Charlie, and, and Bird, and all of Washington, and Old Glory, yeah, we should, we should, we should say apologize to the kind of this time instead of, instead of thanking everybody. Yeah, dog, <laughs> sorry, Bird. Sorry, Carl. Uh, sorry for coming on the program today. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Thank you for coming, and thanks for that show cake, Bird. It was great. Thanks, Freddie. Thanks for talking on the program with us. Thanks, Dan W and Drunk Dan for leaving messages. And thank you, McDonald's, for uh, being there and having the blueberry pies. And here comes the credits. We're going to be here tomorrow with Elijah, Five, so check that out. Four, Thanks, Charlie. Eight, thank you, two, USA. One. Thank you, State of Washington. <laughs> oh, Charlie knows. Charlie knows the credits. Thanks, Watch computers. It. Whoa. Thanks, computers. Thanks, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Thanks, phones and TV. Thanks, crew. Get on the crew. Check us out. Call the number. Bye, Jackpot. Thanks to the baby.com. Check it out. Thanks to TCTV. Thurston County Television. Thanks to Thurston County. Thanks to Washington State. Thanks, USA. Oh, yeah. Thanks, viewers. you. You're watching. Thank you. Where's the oh, yeah? Hell yeah, yeah, dog. Woof, woof. Bye.
Good boy. Good boy, darling. Come on, see you.